the next topic in computer graphics is midpoint circle drawing algorithm now let's see what exactly this midpoint uh, circle drawing algorithm is in this uh, video i'm going to cover uh, the introduction part of this circle drawing algorithm and what is a midpoint circle drawing algorithm advantages and disadvantages of using this algorithm and i'll explain the example also okay so now let's have a look we all know that circle is defined by its center and radius right or wrong if you want to draw any circle how you are going to draw the circle based on the radius only okay so based on this radius you are going to draw the circle like this you are going to draw the circle it is not easy to display an arc on the computer screen so drawing line is okay it's it's somewhat better than the circle but drawing a circle is not an easy you have to draw the arcs so the arc you have to draw the arc on different coordinates and try to uh, construct a circle so it is not an easy to display an arc on the computer screen because the screen is made up of pixels which are organized in the form of matrix so if you see this is a screen okay in the screen every uh, all the pixels are arranged in the form of rows and columns that is a matrix okay that is what you call it as a matrix so if the points are uh, pixels are arranged in the form of a matrix it is difficult to draw the circle means arc if you, it is difficult to draw the arc so for drawing a circle on screen we need to consider the nearest pixel from a printed pixel so this is you have to remember that for drawing a line you can take the exact pixel but for drawing an arc on the computer screen okay you have to take the nearest pixel to form the exact uh, circle okay without any uh, means the stripe the circle arc should be cleared the main property of circle is its symmetry we have to find points of a circle only for one octant the other octants can be derived easily okay uh, octant is nothing but it's if you take it 2d plane okay so this is uh, this 45 degrees this is an octant octant okay and this is another octant so this is another octant and this is another octant 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 so total eight octants are there eight octants if you find the eight octants you can easily draw the circle okay so this is a circle a circle is a symmetry is it symmetry we have to find the points of circle only from one one octant so if you find the one octant automatically you can derive easily the other octants so that is how i'll explain now so let us consider a circle and divide eight octants so just now i said eight octants are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight octants on a 2d plane so this you call it as a 2d plane we are going to calculate pixels locating for the octant x is equal to 0 and x is equal to y so x is equal to 0 and x is equal to y so only this part we are going to find the points okay on the remaining automatically you can generate by taking the mirror reflection only the mirror reflection okay so this is a mirror reflection to this and this is a mirror reflection to here and this is a mirror reflection to here okay so if you find one octant and or else uh, two octants is equal to one quadrant two octant is equal to one quadrant okay this is one quadrant and this is second quadrant and this is a third quadrant and this is a fourth quadrant each quadrant requires two octants okay so this quadrant requires two octants and this is two octants and this quadrant is two octants okay so now let i think you get the clarity on what how the circle is going to draw on the 2d plane so you have to find out one octant automatically you the other octants can be easily derived by using the first octant okay so now let's see the midpoint circle drawing algorithm so with the help of the midpoint circle drawing algorithm how we are going to draw a circle on the 2d plane that we will see now midpoint circle drawing algorithm is used to determine the points needed for rasterizing a circle 
it is similar to the midpoint generation line generation algorithm only so in the line generation algorithm you are having a different types are there okay ddl line drawing algorithm midpoint line drawing algorithm and the bresson hans line drawing algorithm these are the different types of line drawing algorithms in the same way the circle if you consider the circle drawing algorithm there are two types are there one the circle drawing algorithm are of two types one is midpoint and another is bresson hans and another is bresson hans line uh, circle drawing algorithm so here dda is not there only dda is a line drawing algorithm whereas midpoint is it can generate a line segment and it also can generate a circle and in the same way bresson hans all generates the line segment or uh, and also it can generate the circle also so this uh, uh, midpoint circle drawing algorithm uh, it is similar to the midpoint line generation algorithm only but only the boundary condition is different so it calculates all the perimeter points on the circle in the first octant so in the first octant it's calculate all the perimeters or perimeter points in the circle in first octant and then prints them along with their mirror points on the other octants so this is a mirror effect and this is a mirror effect so let's see the algorithm first then i'll take an example uh, by, by applying this algorithm and i'll show you on the graph how these uh, points are going to be generated how the arc is going to be appeared i'm just drawing the arc arc mean whenever i draw the arc the remaining quadrants you have to be uh, applied okay i'll show you only the one quadrant that is one octant one octant or two octants i'll just show you okay so uh, sorry only one octant i'll show you in this example and the remaining octants you have to be find out only the mirror reflection is there and you are going to generate a circle i'll just show you an arc on the screen how to generate an arc on the screen by using the midpoint circle drawing algorithm so consider the center coordinates x1 y1 so let us consider the center coordinates x1 y1 so x1 is equal to 0 and y1 is equal to r let us take the center coordinates uh, x1 is 0 and the y1 you just take the radius because we are drawing the circle circle means with the help of the radius only you are going to draw the circle right so consider x1 is equal to 0 and y1 is the radius calculate the starting decision parameter so let's take the decision parameter is 1 minus radius now let us assume starting coordinates or whenever next to starting coordinates are xk yk and what are the next coordinate xk plus 1 yk plus 1 so finding the next point on first octant on the value of decision parameter based on the decision parameter only we are going to find the next point so every next point can be generated with the help of the decision parameter <laughs> now consider case 1 two cases are there two cases are there dk is equal less than 0 suppose you will get a negative values negative values that means less than 0 less than 0 means first take the xk plus 1 value and try to take the previous value and increment to 1 so the yk plus 1 value the next point value is just simply the previous value only then calculate the decision parameter dk plus 1 is equal to dk plus 2 xk plus 1 that is this value this value you have to take here and plus 1 this is when less than 0 suppose it is greater than 0 greater than or equal to 0 that means it is a positive number the number is positive then what you have to do dk is greater than or equal to 0 means first perform xk plus 1 is equal to take the previous value and add it yk plus 1 is equal to take the previous value and subtract minus 1 now the dk plus 1 is equal to dk minus 2 into the this present value whatever you are going to generate okay this value xk plus 1 plus 2 into the previous one previous value of xk plus 1 plus 1 okay suppose if the center coordinate points or x1 y1 is not an origin suppose it is not an origin then try to add that x1 to that your value the coordinates you are given suppose it is not starts with the 0 0 then add whatever the value they are given try to add here 2 plus x1 and uh, suppose 3 plus y1 whatever the value is there then for all the values you have to do that 
for x coordinate xc plus x1 for y coordinates yc plus 1 xc and yc contains the current values of x and y so repeat this step 4 and 5 whatever the previous step this step 4 okay and step 5 this we until we will get x greater than or equal to 5 whenever the x is greater than or equal to 5 stop working on this and draw the dry, uh, arc on the screen so the advantage of midpoint circle drawing algorithm is it is an efficient algorithm and it is easy to implement also see how e how much easy uh, you are generated the algorithm so if you see the example then you can get a clarity on it is an easy implementation it is used to create curves on a raster display then what about the disadvantages disadvantages of midpoint circle drawing algorithm is it's a time consuming algorithm sometimes the point of circles are not accurate also so let us take an example to explain this draw a circle using midpoint circle drawing of them centered at origin so they are given the centered point or 0 0 so they didn't give us any value okay if they if they give if they give any value you have to take xc plus x1 and yc plus y1 okay but here they started with the center at origin with radius 15 r is 15 they are given so what is the starting point okay x x0 is equal to 0 and the y0 is 0 is given so you have to consider the starting point okay xk is equal to so these are the first points so let's take the decision parameter d0 is equal to 1 minus r 1 minus 15 is minus 14 you got okay now what we have to do so uh, let's calculate these are the cases if dk is less than 0 this operation you have to perform if dk is greater than 0 you have to perform but here what the value of dk you got minus 14 minus 14 means less than 0 whenever it is less than 0 the first step is x xn is equal to 1 okay and the yn is equal to 15 that means starting coordinates of x and y are what 0 comma 0 starts at the origin okay so what we have to take you have to take y as a radius because x as a 0 and y is equal to r is equal to 15 r is equal to 15 okay you have to consider the radius starts with the radius then only you can draw the arc so xn is equal to 1 so substitute here x the x value is 0 plus 1 you will get 1 and yn is equal to y that is the 15 okay so the first points are 1 comma 15 what is the second coordinates now check the uh, dk value so what is how you are going to check uh, dk value uh, now here dk is my first calculate the dk value so dk value is minus 14 the pre uh, whatever you get so here the dk is minus 14 minus 14 plus because you get the uh, positive value right dk is less than 0 dk is less than 0 that is the previous you get minus 15 so minus 14 plus 2 into 1 plus 1 is equal to minus 11 so you got minus 11 that is it is less than 0 less than 0 means what you have to perform you have to perform xn is equal to xn plus 1 that is 1 plus 1 2 and yn is equal to y means that is 15 only again check so now the d is minus 11 so minus 11 that is dk is minus 11 this is dk plus 1 let's take all dk plus 1 so dk plus 1 is uh, dk plus 1 is you need to be calculated dk is minus 11 so minus 11 negative value so perform this operation minus 11 plus 2 into 2 plus 1 is equal to minus 6 whenever this value dk plus 1 is less than 0 what you have to do the same operation so perform the same operation and you will get 3 comma 15 so this time you will get dk value is 1 1 means greater than or equal to 0 greater than or equal to 0 that means you have to perform this calculation so what is this xn is equal to x plus 1 that is 3 becomes 4 and y minus 1 y means 15 15 minus 1 14 okay so in the same way you have to perform this you had you need to check the dk value minus 18 minus 18 means xn is equal to x plus 1 and yn is equal to y only so 4 plus 1 5 and 14 only and minus 7 the same operation plus 1 5 plus 1 6 
and y only 14. Okay, 6 greater than 0. Greater than 0 means xn is equal to x plus 1 and yn is equal to uh, yn minus y minus 1. 14 minus 1, 13. So, these are the points. So, as we got all the points of, so you have to perform here uh, until xn is greater than or equal to 0. So, here up to here it is less than 0. xn is less than 0. But check here. xn value is greater than yn value. Whenever you got xn is greater than or equal to yn, then stop working on it. Stop the condition. So, here we will stop because x is greater than y. So, we have uh, as we got all the points of x and y, then just draw it as per points. So, see here this is, let me take let me write the points, whatever the points I got. 1, 15, 2, 15, 3, 15, 4, 14, 5, 14, 6, 14, 7, 13, 8, 13, 9, 12, 10, 11 and 11, 10. Try to spot it. So this is x coordinate 1 and 15. So somewhere here. And 215 somewhere here, and 315 somewhere here, and 4 4 14 4 14 somewhere here, F 5 5 14 somewhere here, 6 6 14 6 14 6 14 somewhere here, okay, and 7 13 7 7 13 7 13 somewhere here. And 8, 13, 8, 13 is here. And 9, 12, 9, 12 is here. And 10, 11, 10, 11 is here. And then 11, 10, 11, 10 is here. So what I said at the midpoint, if you want to draw the arc on a 2D plane on the screen, let's take the nearest point and try to draw the arc. Okay, this is the arc. Okay, I'm just showing it's a, uh, okay, you'll get the arc like this. So, this is what, this is only one quadrant, one octant, one octant. So, you have to draw the another same, the same procedure. It's a mirror image of this and then you'll get the second octant. In the same way, you'll get this third octant, fourth octant, fifth octant. So, you'll get the circle like this, like this, you'll get the circle. Like this finally. So by using this algorithm, I I just drawn only one octant. Okay, this is the only octant I had drawn. This is dark. Okay. So this is how you have to draw the arc on the screen by using the midpoint line drawing algorithm. Uh, sorry, circle algorithm, midpoint circle algorithm. In the previous uh, next video, I'll uh, explain the Bresenham's line. Uh, so circle drawing algorithm. Okay. So, how to draw the circle on the screen uh, in the 2D play by using the Bresenham circle drawing algorithm. Okay. So, in this video still if you are facing any doubts, please let me know students. Thank